Hello friends. Today we are going to study our next topic related to the high voltage engineering that is streamer or canal mechanism of breakdown. We have already studied one method called as Townsend's breakdown criteria. There is a difference in Townsend's criteria and the streamer mechanism of breakdown. Streamer says there is a single avalanche which is sufficient to form a spark discharge and then that forms the plasma streamer. This particular figure shows a single electron starting at the cut by ionization. So we already know what is ionization. That builds up an avalanche that crosses the gap. Electrons in the avalanche move very fast compared with the positive ion. By the time the electron reach the anode, the positive ions are virtually in their original positions. So this electron travel towards anode and it, when it reaches to this anode, by that time, the positive space charges get developed at the anode. When the avalanche in the gap reaches a certain critical size, the combined space charge, you can see this particular figure where there are combined space charges, okay, combined space charges and a field and externally applied field lead to intense ionization. Intensification of ionization means that increases the ionization. And increase in ionization means the fast formation of the spark and hence an arc. So you can see an arc formation and that arc formation is sufficient to develop a spark discharge. That arc formation is nothing but the spark discharge. So there is a recombination of electrons and positive ions. You can see here there is a recombination of electrons with the positive ions resulting in the generation of photons. And these photons in turn generate the secondary electrons. So here there is a formation of secondary electrons. Since photons travel with a velocity of light, the process leads to a rapid development of conduction channel across the gap of electrodes that is between cathode and anode. So you can see the explanation which I have already given related to about two figures. Now here you can see this result in a further increase in the space charge. This process is very fast and the positive space charge extends to the cathode. Extends to the cathode very rapidly and that forms a streamer. So this is called as a streamer. Comparatively narrow luminous tracks occurring at breakdown at high pressures are called streamers. That is what the definition of a streamer. As soon as the streamer tip approaches the cathode, as soon as the streamer tip reaches to the cathode, reaches to the cathode, a cathode spot is formed and stream of electrons and a stream of electrons rush from the cathode to neutralize the positive space charge in the streamer. And the result is a spark and the spark breakdown has occurred. So you can see there are three figures in this figure. Figure A, figure B and figure C. Figure A is basically shows the stage when an avalanche an avalanche has crossed the gap 
that has crossed the gap figure b shows the streamer has crossed half the gap length the streamer has crossed the half the gap length so this is figure b and this streamer which has crossed the half of the gap length is shown in figure b and figure c shows the gap has been that particular gap has been breached that breached by a conducting channel by a conducting channel and what do you mean by a conducting that conducting means nothing but the conversion of a insulating gas into the conducting gap that conducting gap is also called as a conducting gas that gas becomes the conducting gas okay so this is all about the streamer theory yes so you can see here the explanation which i have given related to the streamer theory now the streamer theory that is in which mick has proposed a simple quantitative criteria related to the estimation of electric field and basically you can see that helps to convert an avalanche into a streamer so we have already seen in above figure there is a formation of streamer that is nothing but the conversion of an avalanche into the streamer now this particular field er where r be the radius is given by the equation 5.3 so you can see uh, instead of writing i just have this equation already written so you can refer that equation so you can see that er is given by the equation 5.27 into 10 to the power minus 7 into alpha into e to the power alpha x upon x by p to the power 1 by 2 that is this denominator is in square root and the unit of that as volt per centimeter that is nothing but the electric field in between the gap of the electrodes so this a or you can see alpha stands for the first ionization coefficient that alpha stands for the first ionization coefficient p be the gas pressure and x be the distance to which the streamer has extended now according to this mick minimum breakdown voltage is obtained when we say er is equal to e and x is equal to d in the equation so therefore we get this equation same as the only thing is er is replaced by e and x is replaced by d ah let us uh, use this equation to get the derivation done because this particular derivation equation will be helpful for us to get the fast change law so what we have written initially that equation is e is equal to 5.27 now i just take that 5.27 as round up to 5.3 into 10 to the power minus 7 into alpha alpha be the first ionization coefficient into e that is exponential term alpha to the power d e to the power alpha d e to the power alpha d divided by d upon p in square root this is volt per centimeter now take natural log take natural log now natural log is written as written as ln on both the sides on both the sides so that what we can get we get ln of e ln of e is equal to natural log of 5.3 into 
10 raised to power minus 7. Now this is multiplied by the numerator alpha into e to the power alpha d. Alpha into e to the power alpha d. So therefore, this particular term can be written as, this particular term can be written as ln alpha. But here, that product when taking natural log becomes plus. So natural log of alpha, right? Plus, again, we have a product here written as multiplication between alpha and e to the power alpha d according to make. So this e to the power alpha d becomes alpha d, right? I think all of you know this concept divided by root of this d by p. So this can be written as minus because we have a denominator term. So it is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 natural log of d by p natural log of d by p now let us write down the value so ln e is equal to now this 5.3 into 10 is power minus 3 minus 7 ka log natural log is gives us 14.5 with the negative sign okay plus ln of alpha okay then minus what i am writing now ln of p, ln of p, because this particular p is in denominator, right? Minus, or you can here, plus ln of t. So this p is adjusted here, right? Minus half of ln d upon p plus alpha into d, plus alpha into D. So when I am doing this adjustment, I can take this ln of p on left hand side so that I can get ln of e minus ln of p, which is equal to minus 14.5, minus 14.5, right? Minus 14.5 plus ln alpha minus ln p minus. 1 upon 2 ln d by p plus alpha d. So the adjustment of this ln p is shifted on the left hand side. Therefore, ln of e by p is equal to minus 14.5 plus ln alpha by p. So this minus sign with alpha and p are taken together minus 1 by 2 ln d by p plus alpha into d. So this is what the equation which we are getting. Now I just take this alpha d, that alpha d, right? So alpha d and ln alpha upon p, I just keep it on one side. So alpha d plus ln alpha by p, I am keeping on one side, right? And just taking these negative values on the other side so that I can write it as 14.5 now becomes plus, plus ln e by p plus 1 by 2 ln d by p ln d by p so this is what the equation which we are getting so i just write it again so that you can understand well alpha d plus ln alpha by p alpha by p is equal to 14.5 plus ln e by p plus 1 by 2 ln d by p. So the experimental determine, experimentally we have determined the values of alpha by p and the corresponding e by p. So if we experimentally find out the values of alpha by p and the corresponding values of e by p, 
that can be used to solve the equation which is written here so this is our equation which we can use right but this must be solved on trial and error basis right and the values of alpha by p corresponding to e by p at a given pressure are chosen until the equation is satisfied it means what we have to do this basically left hand side part must be equal to the right hand side part that we have to satisfy what i said is the left hand side part means alpha d plus ln alpha by p that must be equal to the right hand side of this particular equation so for that purpose we have to choose the values of alpha by p in such a way so that uh, that is alpha by p and e by p are to be chosen in such a way that we get this left hand side is equal to right hand side okay so that's all with this particular method called as streamer theory thank you so much guys take care